right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 17th of April. Whew, man, this year is just flying by and uh, you know, I don't think we had one once in a lifetime tasting this month, but hey, don't worry. We're back the 1st of May with one of the greatest tastings that we do. And this is an annual event, our Super Amarone tasting featuring the two legends of Verona, Giuseppe Quintarelli and Del Forno Romano. And these two producers, well, every year we do one and then we do the other. And then the third year we do them versus each other. So we're going to serve five wines from the great Giuseppe Quintarelli's portfolio of wines, including the Alzero, which is one of my favorite wines on earth. The Amarone. Hey, we've got reserve Amarone. This wine's a thousand dollars a bottle. We're going to be serving at this tasting, including the Recciotto, the greatest wine made in Verona. And then we've got Del Forno Romano, which Del Forno started in the 80s. Quintarelli's been around for 100 years. He's been exporting to the U.S. since the 50s in barrel. And uh, Del Forno Romano, a lot of people think he worked for Quintarelli. He's the disciple of Quintarelli. No, he has great admiration and respect for Quintarelli being the greatest producer, the godfather, we call him, of Amarone, but his wines are very different. For instance, he doesn't age his wines as long. He doesn't dry his grapes as long, so they're not as sweet. His wines are not as sweet. Some people that don't like Quintarelli think his wines are a little sweet. He ages his wine, dries his grapes for three months. Uh, Dal Forno is at least a month less. Another thing that Dal Forno Romano does is he ages his wine in New Barrique. This is heresy to the great Giuseppe Quintarelli, who passed away a few years back, but the wine still made in the same fashion, large Slavonian oak. I'll never forget my visit to Quintarelli. He had these large barrels, and some of them were labeled Amarone slash Recciotto, and his fermentations take so long, everything's done naturally, that sometimes he doesn't know if that barrel is going to be Amarone or Recciotto for a period of a year or more because the fermentation hasn't finished and the residual sugar level, which in Recciotto's can be 70, 80, 80 grams per liter, but the acidity is so great in these wines, they still finish dry. So we're going to be having Ricciotto from both of these producers. Like I said, at least five wines from each on the table. How the Dal Forno Amarone is $500, and we're serving you dinner. It's Friday, May 1st. And uh, yes, for the price of one bottle of either of these wines, $495 plus tax, an incredible value if you look at all the wines you're going to be tasting. Some of them upwards of $1,000 a bottle. The 97 vintage of Ricciotto, one of the greatest vintages I've ever had, and I've had every single one that they make up until now. So check it out. Everything we're going to be drinking from these two legends of Verona. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.